namaste and thank you so much for joining me on this beautiful magical occasion this is daily vibes for the collect hive my name is illy b and today is 11 11 a beautiful day the synchronicities of 1 1 1 1 2 0 2 0 um i'll get into the numerology in the description below but Whenever you're tuning in, whether it's right now, a few minutes, a few hours, a few days, a few weeks, or even a few months, it does not matter because whenever you're meant to listen to this message is when you're meant to listen to this message as time is not linear and that's that on that. So I like to start off this session with a little grounding meditation just to be present to stay grounded so we could continue throughout our day or evening or whatever it might be so beautiful so wherever you are sitting just pause for a few minutes move your body a little bit spread your wings let it fly <laughs> so sitting up straight with your shoulders pulled back and your chin slightly tucked in so you feel elongated and aligned taking a big deep breath in expanding our bellies and breathing out pulling your belly button inside taking a few cleansing breaths just to clear your palate breathe in as you close your eyes and breathe out breathe in And out, noticing your body as you are present with yourself, your cells, your bones, and the tingles on your hair. Breathing in this once in a lifetime breath and breathing out, letting go of any worries any to-do lists to be here in this moment right now breathing in this liquid golden light holding it letting it amplify within your whole body as you breathe out as this energy surrounds you in your space Letting your space be vibrant, lifting the energies within your room, breathing in and out. We bring our awareness down to our heart centers, taking a moment to be present with your heart. Breathing in this divine light into your heart, holding it as your heart starts to open and breathing out. Repeating after me in words, I am loved. I am open to receiving love. I am whole and I am one with creation. Breathing in and as you breathe out through your heart, giving your love out into the universe and be open to receiving the universe's love right back to you. Take 
taking a moment to feel your own love right now. Give yourself a hug or rub your legs. Thanking your body for all that it does for you and what you do for it. Breathing in and out. Moving our awareness down to the base of our spines and down to the soles of our feet as we energetically connect with the crystalline organic earth grid by envisioning our roots planting into the earth into the soil and into Mother Earth's many layers as she holds space for you and anchors you into her love and her heart. If there's anything that you are holding on to that you wish to release, Mother Earth ask you to give it to her as she will transmute and transform this energy. It will not hurt her. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, you let go and feel 10 times lighter. Give your love now to the divine yin mother energy. And feel all her love come right back through the roots and into your body. Prayer hand physician, we thank her for holding space for us. moving back into our bodies but our roots still grounded into her pulling all this energy up right through your legs up from your hips coming back into your heart center as you feel more present and grounded bring your awareness back to your body and whenever you feel called to, opening your eyes and being here in this moment of eternal love and bliss. Wow. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. That was all, of course, divinely guided with Mother Earth as she wanted to hold space for us for those that are holding on to some extra baggage right now or extra anything to be honest with you so today's message is brought to you by meditation for women who do too much not subjective to just feminine energies as we all hold feminine and masculine energies within us not just for cis females and yoga 365 so shall we begin Ooh, there's a hair there Ooh, dna upgrades Ooh, today's message is about love love the story love <laughs> the story of a love is not important what is important is that one is capable of love it is perhaps the only glimpse we are permitted for eternity by Helen Hayes. All too often, we women who do too much confuse falling in love with loving. We like the buzz, the instance of the adrenaline rush of falling in love. It's exciting. 
and reveals to us from the pressure of our overextended lives for a while. Even the excitement of fitting it into our busy schedules is uh, tilting, and eventually it wears us out. We have become so urged to instantly and instantaneously that we need something new to give us our high. Be aware of instant intimacy. Be aware of buzzing instantly. Both may be fun. They are most likely not love. They are a byproduct of the way we are living our lives. Love is slower, deeper, easier. Love takes us into and beyond ourselves, not just into our self-centeredness. Love is available to all of us, yet we may have to take some time to learn about love. Because, because we haven't had any models around us who know how it is done. We are all capable of love, whether we know it or not. To glimpse that eternity, we may have to take the time to let go of old illusions and learn new ways of being. Wow, now I know why Mother Earth guided us to release and to let go, to release those old timelines and how we grounded into the new crystalline organic earth grid is because unconditional love is the answer and everything else is an illusion. It's for our growth. You are worthy of love. Everybody is worthy of love. Even people that are quote terrible people because the reason why they act that way is because they don't know what love is. They haven't received that love. And if no one has told you they love you today, let me be the first one to say that I love you. I love you so much. I just love you. I love you. That's why my name is Illy, because I love you though. <laughs> wow, so beautiful. Story time, just a little bit, a little bit about myself. I am in a loving, healthy, committed relationship with the woman I love, and we are growing in love as, you know, this is our first healthy relationship with one another, and, you know, we are learning what true love is, what unconditional love is, and we're growing with one another, and it's really beautiful, and, you know, I'm very hopeful that everybody can experience that as well. And it took a lot of soul growth to get there. I had to go through a lot of trials and tribu uh, tribulations. If you check out my earlier videos, I did talk about the cycles that were happening and so on and so forth. So, wow. <laughs> Aren't these books amazing? Oh, I love it. Okay, so November 11th. What do you value? Give it life in the world. Ask yourself, what are the things I truly love and value? What immediately comes to your mind may be a person, a place, a cause, or an object. Identify these as your values and let them guide your actions. Consider how they may shape your thinking and your life choices. Your actions and determination of your point of view. So notice your actions tell you about whether they are aligned with your values. Whether you value, express it in your everyday life. Through your words and your actions, give your values life by drawing that what resides in your heart out into the world. That's why I always end these guided meditations is from your heart center so we can continue our day from our hearts, right? We do things for ourselves and then extend that to other people. As everything is an extension of source, we all are one, but we are a unique being. I am Illy, an expression of source energy. I am source having an Illy experience. So, very beautiful and Alice, 
in Wonderland, this deck called to me as there is a message here as well. So yeah, let's see here. It'll be really funny if tea time comes out because I tweeted about that earlier and it's 15.15. All right. what card of the day use your time well make every moment count the tabby cat look at its piercing eyes so i feel like already with this card you know with today being 11 11 and the synchronicity of today i feel like there's going to be some synchronicity moments within time as well but you know being mindful of time we're gonna read the divination of it in this little book, which is really beautiful. Use your time well. I think you might do something better with the time, she said, than wasting it and asking riddles that have no answers. Asking riddles that seem to have no answers may seem like a waste of time, but sometimes it leads to discovery. When we allow ourselves to ask questions that may have no answer, we find our valuable things and un earth to what we may think and truly believe but there is another element to this card as there are people who will waste your time not only by asking questions that have no answers but by deliberating asking those questions to take up your time these are people in your lives who feel justified questioning praying or wasting your time it is up to you to decide what questions are worth answering, those that serve no purpose and can be left alone. Like Alice, you can find yourself becoming unbothered, sorry, bothered by people's desires to confuse you. When this card comes, it is essential to create a safe space about yourself and to know what you are prepared to do, what you are preparing to withdraw from, and what you will leave well alone. Trust Alice on this. There are people in this world with questions that will simply waste your very precious and irreplaceable time. Answer only those that will bring you closer to a resolution or that will lead you to a greater and deeper way of experiencing the world. Some people love to feel they are important enough to take up another's time for no sound reason. Don't let them waste your time. Someone could be wasting your time by asking questions they have no interest in answering. People not listening or repeated questions, for instance, but not heeding advice. Some may wish to take up a great deal of your time in order to feel important, listen to or cared about, set your boundaries, boundaries. And that being said, like, <sighs> that being said, <laughs> um, your time is very valuable. Yes, time is an illusion, but your energy is what is valuable. So this brings up a lot of questions. What do you value, right? What do you love? If people are wasting your time, they have no interest in you or have no love and just wish to take it up, do you wish to communicate with them any further? This is a time for you to question those around you and to move forward with what is in alignment with you, for you, and by you, okay? So don't let anybody just waste your time because your time is very precious. Your energy is very valuable. So with that in mind, take this day and with this centering and grounding, if something comes up, just know, is it worth answering? A lot of people will ask questions just so they can know a little bit about you, right? And they, um, some wish they have jealousy or so on and so forth. This is also a reminder not to overshare things, right? You want to share with those that you really do care about and love. So try not to overshare as well because they just want to know more what's going on in your life. Keep things at a bare minimum and just move forward, right? If someone asks you, hey, what's going on? What's new? Nothing, just chilling. 
all right bye <laughs> stuff like that so keep that in mind boobies thank you so much for joining me today have a beautiful magnificent miraculous wonderful day and remember that you are so loved that you are worthy of love and keep spreading that love